If you've ever wanted to record your awesome Nintendo accomplishments to your PC to live on forever, today's your lucky day. We're going to use the Elgato Game Capture HD to do just that. Okay, I'm going to go through the uh, connections for an Elgato Game Capture HD to an original uh, Nintendo NES. Um, it's going to be on the uh, output side it's going to be the same uh, as any any device. You're going to go HDMI out and then you're going to go your, your USB connection. So that USB goes to your PC, HDMI goes to your TV. On the input we're going to connect the AV in and this comes with the Elgato and you can see it's a component we don't have a component with this uh, original Nintendo. What we have over here is just a video and an audio. So we're going to take a pair, um, an, a, an RCA uh, cable. We're going to go yellow into video. We'll go red into audio. And then the connections here. So we have three, and we have a lot of connections here. We're going to remember our yellow is our video. We're going to connect that to the red component. And now this little piece, this is our audio, and we'll stick the white, connect the white to the white, and the red audio to the red audio. And and that's how you connect it. Now I've, I've seen things online that, uh, different ways, but when I set it up this way and with the the HDMI to my TV, and I'll, I'll show the, the results of this, uh, it worked fine. And um, so that is how you connect the original Nintendo NES to the Elgato Game Capture HD. And we'll take a look at the uh, demo, the results, and next. Okay, I got my Nintendo all connected, and probably the hardest part of this demo is actually getting it to fire up. As you can see, the classic red blinking light. I'll finally do the slide and jam method there and we're good to go. Uh, we're going to take a look at the Elgato game capture um, um, software. I got this fired up on the PC. You go to settings and it's set up for HDMI because I had another device connected. So you're going to make sure that that is set to composite. That's what we're using now. And it kind of gives you uh, the settings, make sure we did that right, yellow to red, that type of stuff. And we should be good at that point. Now you can see I had everything booted up and already uh, I am now seeing uh, the video. Before there was nothing on the screen. Now I see it on my TV and I see it which is passed through there and I can see it on the uh, on the PC. Now you can't tell here because I've muted the volume but there was at that point there was no volume. and it, I don't know why but for some reason it didn't start until I actually started playing the game. So you can see there's the volume meter, but trust me, I got audio coming out the PC and the TV, and it works great. Hope that helps. Enjoy.